Before I begin this, I feel it's important to state right off the bat, I, 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 all I know is what I know. <laughs> I, I don't really know what's going on. I, what, do you, what do you want from me? I, I never claim to know everything. I, I'm not a legitimate news organization. I'm reporting to my audience what I fucking know. That's it. So, uh, don't just yell at me. Link me what you think is the truth. And I'll watch it. And we'll go from there. Because all I know is what I know. So, fucking... Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go to Ottawa right now. Evan Dyer has more on the story for us today. So let's begin with the Philippine president. What exactly is Rodrigo Duterte saying? How <laughs> Canadians are. That is <laughs> You cannot use this against your own citizens. My God, you Canadians, how <laughs> can you get? Our citizens are joining the ISIS. So we have every right to kill our citizens because we do not want to destroy the community with apathy. Okay, the way you treat us, you're, you're treating us with like garbage. The, the, the entire community, the world should know that there is a Republic of the Philippines which you cannot just so, chopper, hindi nilay nila. Bakit? You will use it against your own uh, citizens. For God's sake, Mr. Tudu, my own citizens are rebelling against us, killing my soldiers and policemen and civilians. And I cannot use the helicopter because they are citizens, but they are out to overthrow my government. If you cannot understand, you should not be there in that mighty post to yours. Because you do not know the history of the world and geopolitics. See, so, yeah, I'm not, I, I, I ain't gonna fucking show the, the rest of that stupid news clip. Because, dude, I don't know, what, what do you want, what, what, I don't even know. Everything could be fucking paradise in the Philippines. How am I to know? I don't live in the fucking Philippines. All I know is what I hear on the news. And I've heard that President Rodrigo has, uh, has put bounties on drug dealers and shit like that. And there's rumor that he might have thrown some guy from a helicopter that was, the, I mean, the guy was a murderer and a rapist, apparently, and apparently he decided to throw him out of a helicopter. Sounds to me like the guy's fucking hard on criminals. You know, I, I'm not entirely sure that makes him the best world leader, but I don't know. I, I, I you know, I, hey, maybe the people are rebelling because he's putting bounties on drug dealers. Maybe they're that loyal to their drug dealers. I, Maybe his people are rebelling because he's doing all manner of other horrible fucking shit. Who fucking knows? But Canada has decided that they wanted to look into him. And he's like, look, I wanted fucking attack helicopters. What, what do you think I was going to use them for? Maybe possibly the war that's going on in my country. The, the citizens I have that are rising up against the government. Killing people. Other citizens. Hey, who knows? Maybe that's the reason why I need attack helicopters. Fucking Trudeau is saying that they weren't ordered as attack helicopters. They were ordered for humanitarian reasons, for search and rescue and things of that nature. And, and... I don't know. I don't know. But, uh... Trudeau pissed away a $230 million contract, or billion dollar contract, I think billion dollar contract, two hundred thirty billion dollar contract for helicopters. So Canada is out two hundred thirty billion dollars, and uh, Duarte is gonna go wherever he can get weapons and machinery of war with no questions asked. <laughs> and I gotta say that doesn't make me happy, you know. 
Because it's like, okay, so he's going to probably go to China or Russia and give them $230 billion. I don't know, man. You know, it's, it's, it's fucking crazy. All the shit that's going on in the world. And Justin Trudeau has decided that he's just not going to, he's not going to deal with anybody who's fighting with anybody else. Which is pretty much everybody. So, good luck to Canada. I wish them all the best. Uh, I, I, man, they're, they're just slowly, they like, they're seriously that kid in school that nobody wanted to hang out with because is fucking narc and a bitch. You know, that kid that would be like, why do you have to swear so much? Because you're a fucking bitch trying to toughen your pussy ass up. That's why. Dude, I, I don't know. It, it just seems like... I don't know. It just seems like they're out of touch with the fact that the world is a violent fucking place. And there's some bad people in it. And bad shit goes on. And, and I just, I, you know, you hope it never happens, but at the same time, it's going to happen. Sooner or later, some very nasty people are going to find out that they can just roll over fucking Canada, and they're just going to fucking roll over Canada. And we're really not going to have much of a choice but to step in, because, you know, Canada's our head. And... If Canada gets overthrown by some terrible fucking regime, we're going to have to deal with that shit sooner or later. So, man, uh, we got fucking drug dealers to the south of us running cartels that are just fucking destroying everything down there. And we've got fucking the, the pussy brigade up above us. Ugh, we're really stuck between it. I don't know. Maybe I really should move to Australia. <laughs>